United Way teamed up with Lifeline Food Pantry today to make this holiday week a little brighter for some folks in Clark County. They held an event to give food to the more than 300 employees who were let go two weeks ago from PCA Paper Mill in Jackson. Our Stephen Moody joins us live in the studio. Stephen, it looks like it was a great turnout. Yeah, it was, Bob. And for these workers and their families, this is a bright spot during an unfortunate time. All of this food is going to families in need this Thanksgiving. Just two weeks ago, nearly 350 people were laid off. So on the eve of Thanksgiving, United Way and Lifeline Food Pantry stepped up to help. We want to make sure that um, the families have what they need for the, the six to eight weeks or even longer, uh, maybe, uh, to get them through this difficult time while they're between jobs. When we found out that so many employees had lost their jobs, especially leading up to the holidays, so we immediately started seeking out resources to see how we would be able to help. And this was the result. Large amounts of chicken, fish, bread, and vegetables ready to be handed out to former employees, including Grady Reeser. Well, it's kind of a tough time, you know, during the, during the holidays and everything, but uh, we thank God for the blessings that we're getting. This is a, a real blessing. And it takes a lot to put it all together. That's why the United Way enlisted the help of local students. The Feeding the Gulf Coast truck dropped off the food at 8.30, and we have been wa working nonstop to sort, pack, and prepare the food boxes for these families and families like Reezers definitely appreciate it. Well, they've been real nice, you know, spoke to me and everything, and you know, it's just blowing me away as, as much as stuff they given us and uh, how they're taking care of us. It's, it's a blessing. And while this event was from 12 to 2, the food pantry remained open afterwards to hand out food for anyone else in need. Live in studio tonight, Stephen Moody, Fox 10 News.